What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. Now today we're taking a look at another LLM which is called Kimi K1.5. Now uh, this is another Chinese LLM, it's an O1 level multimodal model. So as you can see, here you can see that currently it's outperforming GPT-40 and Claude Sonnet 3.5 as well. Now here you can see more about the model um, and how uh, Kimi, the model, is performing against other models right here. So you can see in math, it's actually surpassing a chat GPT. In uh, math as well here, you can see the code as well and vision as well right here. You can see that it's surpassing even Quen right here, which, uh, yeah, it's quite impressive. It's a new model. Again, um, you know, just when we thought, you know, DeepSeek is the only model that is going to be released this year, we get Kimi 1.5. Here you can see more about the model. Obviously, you can install this model locally if you want, or, uh, you know, you can use the API as well. So you can test Kimi K1.5 through the Kimi open platform. Uh, again, you just need to go to this link and you'll be able to get the API key. For those of you who want to learn more about Kimi and the API key, we did another video on that. So let's right, get right into it. So this is Kimi uh, by Moonshot. So Moonshot is the company behind Kimi. And uh, this is actually their uh, chat. So we can go here and we can use Kimi for most tasks or Kimi Lung thinking, which is uh, for complex visual and text reasoning right here, as you can see. So uh, as you can see, first off, I have a one image here, which uh, is a Machu Picchu image. So let's go here and let's click on this right here. And let's say, where was this picture taken? So let's click here. Let's hit, as you can see, it's searching and reasoning. All right, let's dive deep into this. This kind of stonework, okay, reminiscing of Inca architecture. That's right, that's completely true. So first I can see that it's very fast. And as you can see, narrowing it down, it seems highly likely that this is Machu Picchu to confirm. I'll recall some specific features. And as you can see, it gives me also the features and pretty much everything in detail, as you can see. So from the reasoning that we've completed, basically that image is Machu Picchu. Yeah, so that, that's true, that's correct, okay. So we have that one. So again, it can also, um, you know, you can support files like PDFs, documents, um, PowerPoints, text images, stuff like that. So you can also go and use that model for pretty much a lot of different things like scanning documents, uh, you know, scanning PDF documents and stuff like that. Um, so uh, let's go right into the debugging and uh, error identification. So I have here one prompt, which is going to be a prompt in Python. And basically what this is, is it identifies the missing, uh, let me just actually show you like this. Uh, this is in chat GPT. So uh, the expected re response here is identifies the missing base case for negative numbers. So that's exactly what we want to get out of Kimi. So let's see what it will, what Kimi will actually give us here. So as you can see, again, searching and reasoning. Okay, the problem here is probably related to handling negative numbers. Yes, that's correct. And as you can see, we've got already the code right here an explanation of the code. So as you can see, pretty interesting. One thing to note is you also have common phrase a box here. So for example, you can um, add common phrases here and then Kimi will actually quickly access commonly phrases and also summarize them and stuff like that. So that's also something that you can, that you can do. So you can obviously click here and add a common phrase. And then uh, as you can see, Kimi, please summarize the main points of the article in one precise sentence. So for example, you can get a randomized here a common phrase, oops, I actually just exit out of it. And then we can hit new, and then it will give us a new common uh, phrase from that. So as you can see, if we go here, as you can see, we have that right here. So this is just like a, a bit a one side note here. Now let's go to the next one, which is, um, actually I wanna go here and see the logical puzzle with code. So this is a logical puzzle right here. And we have even a Python, um, numerals here. So let's go here and let's see. Okay, so expected response here is to use XOR bitwise operation. So let's see again. 
very fast in under a second it actually goes and searches and has reasoning as you can see XOR just like ChatGPT and uh, uh, added here and as you can see it's going it's it's giving us the answer right now very fast honestly this is a tool that can easily compete with O3 mini so if you want we can create a video on that comparing O3 mini with uh, Kimi so let's go to the next one which uh, I always like to to do one thing and that is um, right here pattern logic so as you can see right here we have so this is actually something that I wanted to see how Kimi actually does the uh, writing a code for a premium look landing page so uh, as you can see okay it's actually started to write the code here or actually the reasoning first and then as you can see we will also get the code soon as you can see here's a premium looking design page for YouTube agency we have HTML here uh, writing the code very fast quite fast for the newest model here um, so really fast in the meantime I'll go here and I'll open the HTML compiler here just delete this and let's see how long it took now obviously I tried this also in O3 mini which is the newest model from ChatGPT uh, it did took quite less time um, but let's see you know who knows so okay we have this one right here wow this is actually a pretty detailed uh, website here so let's see okay so this is quite quite good so let me just go here and I like the fact that you don't actually have to scroll you have copy right here so you can copy your entire code right here run it right here and as you can see this is how the website looks like honestly this website looks better than O3 mini uh, in ChatGPT so uh, I'm just saying this is a very good website so that's one thing that uh, O3 mini can do now uh, I also like to always uh, do the snake game test so uh, can you write a code for a premium look snake game in HTML CSS and JavaScript so let's see this one okay so it's very fast right away we're getting a reasoning behind it you know first I need to structure the HTML next go to the CSS to make it look premium so you know Kimi already knows okay I need to use the CSS for the look I need to use HTML for the structure I need to use JavaScript to to for the functionality right so everything is very very fast as you can see right here so very very uh, impressed by this model so far I, I think it's definitely going to be out there with O3 mini uh, and again as I said we're going to also record a video on comparison between Kimi 1.5 versus uh, O3 mini uh, chat GPT so for those of you who are interested in that definitely stick around so let's see right here how this snake game will actually pan out let's delete this and usually it's around 100 lines of code in terms of the snake game here okay so let's see as you can see modern design game features technical features additional features visual enhancements we're getting pretty much everything also we're getting how to control the game really good copy we paste it here we run it and as you can see game is over so actually I, I didn't even move here okay so that's one thing that is uh, I would say bad right so the game doesn't work so immediately we're getting a game over however the game by itself looks really cool so uh, as you can see this is basically uh, for the gaming part now let's go to the last one which um, right here I actually want to go to reasoning text so here what we can do is we can write a function that checks if a given string is a valid so this one is actually something that I would love to to check and then as you can see this is a Python 
An expected response is use regex or string manipulation. So let's see how it is good in terms of that. Okay, okay, so very fast again. As you can see, very, very fast. And it's writing the, the function here as well. Edge cases, everything pretty much, okay. So as you can see, to determine if a given string is a valid palindrome while ignoring spaces, uh, we need to process the string by removing non-alphanumeric characters. So as you can see, here's a solution code. And let's see, uh, expected response uses regex or string manipulation to check. So as you can see, palindrome check. Okay, did you use regex or string manipulation here? In the solution I use, okay, the solution uses string manipulation, as you can see. So that's the correct answer right here, as you can see. So overall, I think Kimi has a lot of potential. If you want to use it, go to kimi.moonshop.cn online, or if you want to test it um, locally, you can also test it locally as well. Now, I really like the fact that, you know, China is releasing these LLMs uh, quite often right now. Obviously, for those of you who want to try out uh, O3 Mini um, or, you know, uh, DeepSeek, check out our channel for more. We've actually made a lot of videos on that. And uh, yeah, also comment below what you think about this particular model. I would love to see what other people think. And also, if you want to get the API key from Kimi and use it in your projects, also check out our uh, next video on our channel. Thank you guys for watching.